Hey everyone, how's it going? So yesterday I finished up a five-day training at the AJ and Smart Office. It was an in-person facilitation training. Um, and a lot of really interesting things came out of it. And it's the, it's the day after now, so my voice is a little bit, uh, yeah, it's a little bit raw. I've been standing and talking for five days. Um, but a couple of things came out of it. And, and one of the things that I wanted to record, I was actually just recording this on my phone for myself, just so I remember uh, to add it to our content. But then I said, I'll just put it up. I'll make a loom video of it and stick it up a few places. People always ask me this question. Um, you know, what's the value of facilitation? How do I explain the value of facilitation to other people? And I always have a lot of answers to that. But now I think I have a better answer. Now I think I have a more clean answer. And, you know, often we go in the direction of, okay, facilitation helps teams make decisions faster. Facilitation helps teams be more productive. Um, those things are true, but there's a more meta level to what facilitation does, which I, I don't, I haven't heard anyone speaking about, and it only came to me uh, this week, in, or the way of explaining it only came to me this week. And that is that what a facilitator does, the most important thing a facilitator does is removes the burden of collaboration from a team, puts it on themselves so that the team can actually be creative, make the decisions they need to make, do the work they need to do, do the work they're paid to do, and not have to figure out how to do a meeting, not have to figure out who should talk next, and not have to keep all of the ideas and, and conversations that were happening in their mind because the facilitator is taking that burden from them. You know, the facilitator is visualizing the discussion. So the team sees the discussions that that's happening on the wall or the mirror board. The facilitator is keeping them on track so they don't need to remember, are we too close to the end of the meeting? The, decision, the facilitator is making sure everybody is getting a chance to speak so we don't have to think about the, you know, normal dynamics of a group where you have some people who like to talk more, some people who like to talk less. And so, you know, people are being hired, let's say you're hired to be a designer, um, you join a company, this is exactly my experience and many others, and you just want to do your work, you just want to do what you were paid to do and, and what you're excited to do, and then you end up spending a huge amount of your days trying to figure out just how to navigate meetings and politics and all of this kind of stuff. Um, another thing a facilitator can do, if you imagine it, I haven't come up with a great metaphor for this yet. Um, they act as almost like a filter for the, for all of the, or like what I said in the, in the training was like, it's like, you know, there's a lot of tension in meetings, especially when something new needs to be created and a lot of tension, a lot of irritation, a lot of frustration builds up in sessions. Uh, we simulated this a lot during the training so people could see and feel how that is. Uh, you barely need to do anything. Just when people come together and have to make decisions, frustration comes up automatically. But a facilitator can be the conduit, can almost be like a sponge that can take all of that frustration upon themselves, take that burden upon themselves, and redirect it into, um, I guess, productive, uh, productive steps and productive processes versus just letting that frustration build and build in the group. I said in the training, it's like, it's kind of like you're a fil you know, one of those water filters, like a Brita filter where the dirty, dirty water goes in the top and the clean water comes out the bottom. Um, you're the filter, <laughs> you as the facilitator, you're sitting there in the middle, um, and you're filtering all of this noise and all of this frustration, all of this irritation, you're kindly and curiously taking it from the group and you're turning that into productive steps for them. Um, yeah, it's, it's this, the value of facilitation is not purely in helping a team be more productive. It's helping a team not have to think about and not have to, you know, use their brain power, their important brain power and like knowledge workers who are paid so much money to come up with smart ideas and, and to develop great products. They are not necessarily going to be amazing meeting runners or amazing conversationalists or amazing debaters. And so why are we asking them to be?
uh, and what a facilitator can do is say, hey, all of you can remain as, you know, not good as meetings as you want, and I'm here to take that burden from you. So yeah, that was that was definitely a big takeaway for me this week. Um, it was just a less, I mean, I added it into the training to see how it would click with the audience, and it, it seemed to have been, you know, we had this thing up on the wall where people could write their aha moments, uh, and this came up many times, this idea of, the facilitator being the burden bearer, the person who says, look, I'm here to take this burden from you guys so you can do the work you actually want to do. You can do the things you're actually being paid to do and not have to figure out how to, you know, do group dynamics and uh, run a meeting yourselves. So yeah, I just wanted to post that. Let me go, let me, let me know what you guys think. Um, that's one of the big ways I'm looking at facilitation at the moment. And you know, if you take the burden from a team, the thing that I love about this when I'm facilitating, you see their eyes light up because they get to do what they were excited about doing all along. They're like, oh, we're, we're problem solving again. We're making decisions again. We're not just talking about what we're going to do. We're actually making stuff. We're getting excited about it. Um, and it's very re rewarding to see kind of a level of joy coming back to employees' lives when the burden of collaboration, the burden of messy, dirty co collaboration is you know taken on to someone else aka me the facilitator so they can just do what they're paid to do that's my thought for for now on a different way of looking at the value of facilitation and have a great day see you guys